Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jack, and welcome to season three, episode four of Scares and Nightmares. So, this is going to be the end of season three because uh, the seasons run up at about four episodes compared to the way the first two were. So, uh, this will be the season three finale, but uh, should I have any more experiences and more things that I, I feel that are worthy enough to actually tell everyone, uh, I will I will make a fourth season. Because you guys know me, like if if I have weird things happen to me, or if I have some, if I have a dream or a nightmare or something that I feel like I need to tell everyone, as soon as I wake up, I will instantly write down everything I can remember and make sure that I don't forget it, and then uh, then I have stories to tell. But uh, I have an experience that I feel like I have to tell all of you right now. And this just happened today. It's early in the morning right now. It's currently 7.40 in the morning. And this happened probably like around 5.30, 5.40 this morning. So about two hours ago. So the two th- there's two things I'm going to... I'm gonna tell you about the first thing is what I'm about to tell you right now it's like a brief little moment and then a little bit after this I end up going to sleep and I have a dream slash nightmare I'm going to tell you about that as well so let's start from the beginning let's start from when all this started so I'm asleep and I slept I was sleeping pretty good I was really relaxed and I woke up because I wanted to use the restroom and everything. And after I'm after I'm done with all that, I come back out here into my room and I walk over towards like the towards back over towards my bed because I have like a table near my bed. So uh I pick up my power I'm picking up my power bank that was charging my phone all night. And I'm plugging it up over here behind my TV so I can recharge my power bank. And so I'm standing in front of my TV and I'm plugging up my power bank that's behind uh, where my power surge is behind my TV. So I'm plugging it up back there and I'm trying to plug it in my power bank. And then right after, the, so right when I'm plugging it up, out of nowhere I hear, I don't know if it was a noise or whatever it could have been, but I swore that I heard like a whisper. I heard a fucking whisper that sounded like someone saying, like, uh, I'll, I'll try to do exactly how it sounded, but it, it literally sounded just like this, like, <sighs> it literally sounded just like that, like someone saying, hey, and it freaked me the fuck out. Because the, fir- the first thing that I, 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 I reacted to it instantly. Because I thought I heard it come to the left of me. Because that, that's where I have a window. And the window was slightly open. Like it wasn't open much. It was just barely open. Just, just so I can let, let a breeze come through. So maybe it might have been the wind. Or it might have been something I heard outside. Or maybe in the neighbor's yard or something like that. I don't know for sure. But that's exactly what it sounded like. And my instant reaction to it when I first heard it was like, what the fuck? I literally just said that. And then I went into the restroom. I went to wash my face off and everything. And I was kind of trying to adjust to what the hell just happened to me. So that, that, that freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> so about maybe... 20, 30 minutes later, I end up going back to sleep, and I didn't, I didn't hear, I didn't hear that, that noise slash voice again, which was good, <clears throat> so it might have been just a one-time thing, I hope, but, uh, so that leads into the second part of what I'm, t- what I'm going to tell you about right now, is, so after, I, after that little encounter, I went, and I went to sleep, and I had a dream. It wasn't really a, it's not really considered a nightmare. But it 
it was pretty it was pretty interesting I should say so I just felt like it was worth sharing and I already gave you guys a scare for this episode so I guess that kind of counts but I feel I feel like what what I just dreamed was worthy enough for me to want to share with everyone especially in this series so here, here's everything I can remember so I was in this house kind of it kind of looked like my 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 stepfather's house and it's kind of hard to explain what his house looks like but uh he's got a big backyard and he's got a gate that he's got a gate on the side of his fence that leads that leads out to the to the grass and the road and my dogs always play outside back there so i remember where i was chilling inside there was a buddy of mine that was inside he was just chilling on the couch on his phone and I hear my dogs barking, so I run outside, and I see them barking at something, where, um, where the where the where the gate is that opens that leads to the grass in the street. The gate was like slightly open for some reason, and they were barking at it, and then the gate opens, and then one of, and then two both of my dogs they, they don't like take off running outside. They just like they they start trying to they start trying to go out there. And I'm calling them back inside because I don't want them to run away or something like that. So they both come back over to me, and I'm like hugging both of them because I don't want I, I don't ever want to lose my dogs. I don't want them to run away on me. So um, I get them back inside and I close the gate and everything. I go back inside and I bring them inside because <laughs> I don't want something like that to happen again. So they're inside the house now, and they're just doing their own thing. They're just laying down or they're just eating or drinking water or whatever so my dogs are safe thank god and then i'm just chilling out with one of my buddies we're just sitting there chatting and whatever and where he's where he is sat down there's a window right behind like the the couch that he's sitting on but it's covered with it's covered like with with shades and everything but it's they're just like ever so slightly open to where you know, they're kind. Of, no one can really see in, but you can see out just a little bit. But I saw someone or something go go right past the window, pointed out to him. I was like, dude, someone. I just saw something like move past that window. Yeah, at first we weren't really too worried about it. I just thought it was nothing. And then I heard like an explosion or something. And I was like, okay, the what? what the hell is going on out there? I'm like, cause my dogs are just out there and I'm hearing shit like this, like what the hell is going on? So, I look at another window that's on the opposite side of the wall cause I'm seeing something move outside that window. So I let my buddy know and we're both just kinda looking, we're both just kinda slightly looking at the window cause again, both, all the windows and stuff are covered with shades. But that one was like slightly open too, just a little bit. So we look out the window and we open it. We open it just a little bit, just just enough to where you can actually see outside. But I saw two people standing there, like on the patio, not not like a patio deck, but like the the walkway that would like go around the house. So like it goes up one side of the house and it goes up the other side, and that leads to the to the, that event that leads around to the backyard. Someone's walking on that. And they were looking over like the uh, like the railing, and they're not looking our direction, so they don't know that we can see them yet. But like I see them like throwing like some Molotov cocktails or something like that, or maybe some uh, not, not not like a pipe bomb. That's like a it, th th that's like the closest thing I can I can describe it as. It's just uh, like kind of like a Molotov cocktail where you throw it and it explodes and fire comes out and stuff. But they end up turning around and they see us. And they don't freak out or anything. They don't like try to break the window and kill us. But uh, all they do is they look at the window. They come toward they come towards the window and they, they bring their faces in closer because their faces are covered like with masks or something. And all I can remember doing was like right when they were looking at us. I put on like the scariest face that I could probably think of. I go and put on one of my Halloween costumes, because I, ha I had a, I had a costume that I bought a few years ago where I dressed up as Papa Emeritus 2 
from the band Ghost, which is currently, you know, it's they're probably one of my favorite bands ever. I put on that costume and I go outside and all of a sudden, for some random fucking reason, my brain just like changed everything and it turns into like a, a, a Batman Arkham style brawl <laughs> where it's everyone against me while I'm in that costume. And I'm blocking punches here. I'm blocking kicks there. I'm taking. I'm picking up one guy and throwing him into other guys. I'm countering like three people at once, like in Arkham City. And I'm just kicking the shit out of all of them. And then the last thing I remember is right when I took out the last guy. The last guy is the one that looked at me in the window. The last thing I can remember was like him being so fucking freaked out. And. I knocked his ass out. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I can remember is like it was just all the way up to the end of that fight and I gave him a warning like, you know, that let let this be a lesson, you know, don't don't come on someone else's property. Because even with a whole bunch of people with you, you never know what one person is capable of kind of a situation you know yeah I know that was uh, one really a horror kind of dream or whatever it was but I did give you guys a scare so I figured you know what that first thing I told you about that voice which I'm still fucking creeped me out right now so I don't know what the where the hell it came from but uh just wanted to share that with all of you it was a pretty interesting dream it was probably one of the weirdest dreams I've had in a long time but I've Figured I want to tell it to all of you. I figured it was worthy telling as a story. So, uh, that's going to wrap up season three of Scares and Nightmares. If I end up having some experiences or some nightmares and stuff that are worthy of telling a good story for you guys, I'll be sure to write them all down and there will be a season four. I don't know when it will be. It could be soon, it could be later. I don't know just yet, but time will have to tell on that one. But any experiences I have or nightmares I have, I'll be sure to write them down ASAP after they happen so I can remember as much detail as possible, and I'll make a list. And if I can get to at least another four, then I'll make a, I'll make a fourth season of this series. But right now, season three, this is the end. Ever since reviving the show, or the series, I should say. And... That's going to do it for this season, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Look forward to ho hopefully look forward to season four sometime in the near future. And I will see you all in the next video.